I fought like four times a year sometimes. I was just like, f- just always trying to fight. Just always trying to just get there, get there, get there. Like, it just didn't matter. Like, I just wanted to get there, you know? And then, you know, when I get there, I'm like, okay, like, let's do the same thing. Let's keep ramping it up. And then, like, life was like, no, sit down, sit back. Injury, didn't fight for a year, and then didn't fight for her 10 months. And I was like, yo, like, this is crazy. I never did that. Like, in the, like, five years that it took for me to get there, like, I did not, like, sit down, you know? So... Now I got a lot more patience and now I like understand why I had to like sit back because like, it, made, it just made me better. Like every time I'll go fight again, I'll, I'm always better and everybody sees it. They see the progression in my training. So that's what happened. That's what it's for. Wow. Woo. We're rolling. We're rolling, yo. All right. We have Jalen Turner. <laughs> born Badass. in San Bernardino? No, I was born in LA. Born in LA? Yeah. Where in LA? Um, South Central. Dang. Yeah. And then were you raised in San Bernardino? I moved to Fontana when I was like two or three years old. And I lived out there like half my life. Then I lived, I moved to San Bernardino when I was like 13 or 12. Fontana's where the Na- the NASCAR track is. Yeah. Do you ever go to that? Go to the, do you ever go to that? No? Nah. <laughs> Good I just park. recently started going to Fontana since we go do races out there. That's where they do the, uh, is it drag racing? You've been to a drag race there? I've been to a drag race. I was surprised. There was like no guys in dresses. <laughs> <laughs> it was just cars going really fast. <laughs> You're, f- that's fucked. I know. <laughs> uh, we're going to play a video here right now. Jalen Turner, um, 28 years of age, and um, one of our MMA guys fighting in the UFC. Brittany, have you guys met before? Uh, no, but I've worked his fights. I worked his first fight, which we had discussed prior, was Khabib and Connor. Yeah. That's a great way to be introduced into the UFC. Wait, you were on that fight card? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I'm so happy people don't remember that fight, though. Well, <laughs> you lost that fight? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. Wait, though. have they fought twice or just once? Just once. Dang, that's yeah. gnarly. Mm-hmm. But you lost that fight. Yeah. All right, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a video here <clears throat> of you not losing. Yes. No volume, but I think we're good. That was it- one of my favorite fights right there. It looks like it feels so good to make some like connection that's just unstoppable. I mean, are you taller than most of the guys in your weight division? Yeah, I'm one of the tallest. I think it was like only two or three of the Oh, that was sick takedown. And you feel like that's an advantage, right? Yeah, definitely. (laughs) I mean, every single one. Yeah, you got these long arms and these long Mm -hmm. legs that you can wrap around and really come from anywhere. Mm hmm. But your natural energy since you've been here versus like what we see in your performance is completely, it's like you become a whole other person. Do you feel that way? Yeah, definitely have to. I have to tap into my dark side when I go fight. Does your dark side have another name? Nah. I'm, no. Because nah. <laughs> you don't seem like you have a dark side. You seem like shy and funny. That's definitely my natural characteristics. You were trying to giggle before the show. You're like, let me get all my giggles out. <laughs> he's trying to get his giggles out. <laughs> and he's a skater. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> like he's broken bones skateboarding. Many bones. I broke my arm, broke my fingers, broke my thumb, road ankles, everything. What have you broken more bones in, skating or fighting? Skateboarding is way harder than fighting. I broke way more skateboarding than fighting. Really? Yeah. I accomplished way more in, the, in my career fighting than I ever did skateboarding. Or were you trying to be pro at skateboarding? Yeah. You know, like little kid dreams. Mm-hmm. Like, but... It didn't go. It didn't go too far. Who'd you look up to as a skater? Oh man, I got a long list. Let's go. <laughs> um, shoot, Chris Cole, Chris Cole, uh, Antoine Dixon, Nick Tucker, Nigel Houston. Um, shoot, Shane O'Neill. I mean, that's a list right there, yeah. dude. He's in the know, man. He's, he knows. Like every one of those, so so badass. Yeah. yeah. I mean, shit. We should have had you at X Games. <laughs> hey, have you got there. to meet any of them? Um. I met Chris. I, I met was gonna Chris, say because yeah. he's been a monster guy. I've seen yeah. him kicking it around quite a bit. 
He's one of my faves too, man. Yeah. I grew up in New Jersey, so like that East Coast flavor and anyone with like it's all into the misfits and that music I love too. Heck yeah. So how'd you get into fighting? Did you wrestle as a kid? Uh I wrestled a little bit in high school and uh I broke my finger right before the season started. So the doctor told me I broke my finger on my growth plate. And I was like, What the heck is a growth plate? You know, I was like uh, a sophomore in high school. So he told me he was like, Well, Unless you want a stubby finger when you're an adult, I suggest you don't do it anymore. I was like, dang. So I stopped. Then they cut the wrestling program the next year. And that kind of like halted my whole like wrestling career. And then fast forward, my senior year of high school, I started training like with my homies in the backyard. I just like backyard sparring. I was like, I was like, man, I could be good at this. So I was like, let me, you know, let me start training. I was training in my backyard. I used a couch as a punching bag. And uh I went to this local gym that had a fight team trial, made the team, and I started fighting ever since. That's sick. Crazy. So you didn't go straight to uh, – you came up through Bellator. Sure. I came up through so many organizations. I fought King of the Cage, World Series of Fighting, Bellator. Um, shoot. <sighs> so many promotions, man. Smash Global. I fought, like – Every fight I had as a pro was pretty much through a different organization. That's kind of crazy, right? And then is that a little is that is that not normal? Nah, definitely not normal. <laughs> right? Yeah, most people like stick with one promotion, get built up through that promotion, and then just go from there. But I was just like, I don't care. I just wanted to fight. I was trying to get to the UFC as fast as I could. Right. And that was kind of the road you had to go. I, 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 a lot of these fights, international fights too. No, nah, they were all they were all local. They're all local in California. Yeah. So who <clears throat> who, who was your first uh, original coach? Adam Rothweiler. Yeah. Yeah. And that's still your coach now? No, nah, I train with uh I train Anthony Gonzalez now. Nice. Yeah. And then my first jiu-jitsu coach was Brady Fink. Um and then you still have Brady now? Nah. It's funny, I just recently seen him. I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, I just seen him like a couple weeks ago. He's probably proud of you. Yeah, he always uh he always told me I was gonna be a champion, I was gonna be good. And I was like, What? And like when I first started. He was like one of the first people I ever like really believed in me. I was like, I was like, that's lit. And then when is your next fight? Um, honestly, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. Working on something. Working on something soon. It's under wraps. Yeah. <laughs> you're under wraps. Yeah. What so do you mean under when wraps? When you're prepping for a fight, <laughs> do you do you stay like are you staying in the gym? Are you staying like in case you get a call, say Dana? Or whomever calls you, they're like, hey, we need you in two weeks. Are you ready? Nah. No? No, not, no I'm not that guy anymore. <laughs> anymore? Why that? Yeah. I just feel like I've just, I don't know. I just put myself in a position to not have to be that guy anymore. Right, 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 right. You know, like, I did that on my pro debut, on my UFC debut. You know, like, I took, like, fights on shorter notice. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm, I'm past that point right now. You know what I mean? Like. And I've been doing it so long, I don't like to, like, stay in the gym all the time. Like, I do other things. Like, I, like I, I like to skateboard. I like to be out with my family, with my dogs. Like, I just like to, like, get away. You know, I feel like if I'm in the gym too much, like, I go, I go a little crazy. How long is your camp, usually? Usually, like, eight weeks. Eight weeks, I'm good. Honestly, like, six weeks, I'm good. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's good. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? Because, like, fighting on short notice, it's like, you got to think of this as a career, too, right? Mm -hmm. Where you don't want to just, like... Uh, not just take every opportunity, but you want to make sure you're prepared and like it's something you feel confident going into. Whereas like, you know, even though it's uh, MMA and fighting, right, it's it's a career. Mm -hmm. So it's like it is pretty strategic. Yeah. Like if they gave me like a short notice fight for like something crazy, something worth like, you know, some like just extravagant. Like I do like the Michael Bisping thing. Like if he like two weeks notice fight for the title, like I'd do something like that, you know, but. Right now, I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm chilling. I'm trying to still make my way up. I bet you'd take a short notice fight with me. I mean, <laughs> are you going to pay me? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of adding to the victories. I don't know about <laughs> You're going to pay me, then I'm in. Dingo <laughs> would pay you. I don't know. Brittany would probably pay you more, actually. I'll work it. I'll just be the ring girl. Don't worry. Yeah. I, I don't fight for free anymore. You know, you shouldn't. Absolutely not. Yeah. How'd you get your nickname? Uh, I had a big collection of tarantulas back in the day, and I used to like hint at that name at the gym because like I always liked Anderson Silva. And he was already the spider, so I was like, I was like, all right, the tarantula is a dope name, you know. And I really own tarantulas, so you have spiders, yeah, like lots of them. 
I got like, I got like seven right now. So collection, you mean like, and they're all like crawling? Yeah. They're yeah. not just like in a. They're in containers. Yeah, they're, they're in not like in an amber frozen block. In a thing. <laughs> so you, you they're just, alive. They're alive. Yeah. I've never actually. I've been so scared of spiders my whole life, but I've always like wanted to hold a tarantula. You should have told me. I would have brought one. Oh, oh I wish God. you did bring one. I would have brought show one for and sure. Tell. Really? That been lit. Yeah. What's the biggest one you have? Um, it's probably about like fully stretched out as big as this can, like that big. Do you have a it, favorite? Wait, whoa! How dangerous wait, are yeah. is like some of them? Um, you have to go to the hospital, but that's it. I'm not gonna kill you. It's just gonna be really painful. But they could kill a lot of stuff yeah. around the house. Like if you're a oh, mouse, yeah. or they you kill them. Toast. A mouse, my dogs, like yeah. Whoa. Yeah. What do your dogs think about these spiders? They like them, as far as I know. They like them in their <laughs> cage. I'm sure. Yeah. They're like, do you don't let that thing Do you out. like? Do you take them out? Yeah. O- often. No, nah, not too often. You just like like if them. I have like a guest coming over, like oh they want to see it, like I'll take one out, like one of my friendly ones, you know. And How do you know? Which, I mean, are they different colors? Like, who's friendlier than not? Different colors, different species, different temperaments. Like, they're like people, you know? Like, who's the unfriendliest one? <laughs> um, <laughs> really going down the spider hole, well, aren't we? I mean, this is interesting. <laughs> I know. Like, I've never known anyone uh, that had this many. My son, Tiger, she's she's pretty she's pretty bad. Yeah. She'll, uh, if you touch her and mess with her, she'll bite. She'll bite, like, like right off the bat. Are I'm these off. poisonous? Yeah. Venomous, yeah. Can you ever take the venom out of it? No. I don't know, is that, is that Even if you take their fangs off, they'll regenerate their fangs within the next <laughs> month. Wait, he, what? He knows a How? lot about spiders. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. He has seven. Yeah, they'll regenerate their legs. You cut off no the way. Leg. Yeah. It's well, the leg at some thing. point you had 200? Yeah. Whoa. That's even scarier. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm scared of you. Yeah, there's a movie they, about there's this like, guy. There's like, there's an you, you have a problem. <laughs> do they, yeah, do they play together? Like, do, are they in the same tank? No, no, no. So I got, actually, I got one species that is communal, so you can put them in the same tank together. Um, the rest of the other ones are separated because they'll probably eat each other. Do you ever put, you know how like with beta fish, when you put a fish tank in a fish tank and then they like try to. Oh, the males. Are do they do yeah. that? Like if you put it next to each other, they like nah, don't nah. get they that could there. Be, they could be next to each other. But like if they're in the same container, like the bigger one's going to eat the smaller one no matter what. No matter what. Yeah. Unless it's a communal species. What like, does that mean? And before I is a communal species, that means they can cohabitate together. Right. But I had 20 of them in the beginning. Now I only got five. So because only the strong survive. They all were. Wait, so I'm doing the math here. 15 of them got eaten? Yeah. <laughs> what do you feed them? Crickets, other, roaches. Cr- other spiders. Yeah. She's like, just the other spiders. <laughs> like I said, the toughest lost. Wow. <laughs> Figure it out. Do you have kids? Yeah, I got two kids. Two kids. Yeah. They like the spiders? Yep. Yeah. I got a video on Instagram of them holding, holding the tarantula the other day. Wow. Yeah. Imagine walking into a house and seeing somebody with 200 spiders all in different containers. <laughs> I actually got a funny story about that. Let's I, go. I bred some. I put the babies in a container, and I didn't know there was like a little tiny hole that they could fit through. I had at least 50 babies get out. My mom and my sister freaked out. They were all over the house. Oh, my god! Okay. Yeah. And they're, many... So when they're babies, are they like as temperamental as when they're adults, or they're like more? A lot more passive. Like, yeah, yeah. They like, don't like, know what's running. going on. Yeah, they're trying to run and get away from everything. But they're like, they're all the babies are like. Do you ever find just like dead ones just hanging around because you didn't catch all fifty? Um, no, I didn't actually. No, I think found all fifty of them. No, 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 I didn't find all (laughs) fifty. They're they're out there. That's (laughs) why he had to move. There's tarantulas in the neighborhood. They're like, where did these come from? We're in California. My mom was like. If I see them, I'm killing them. I was like, all right, kill it. I got <laughs> Yeah, I you should. I messed up. <laughs> How did you get, like, wh- wh- where did this obsession come from? Was it passed down, like, from other family members or something you just picked up at school? No, I kind of just, like, okay, so growing up, I loved Steve Irwin. Like, he was, like, my idol. I Me too. I love Spider. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, like, you know, I um, ended up training, like, hanging out with some friends. And they hated spiders. And, like, I just hung out with them for years, so I kind of, like, acquired, like, a fear of them. And I was like, I, I, it got so bad, my mom and my sisters would ask me to kill a spider, and I wouldn't do it. And I was like, this is not me, you know? So I was like, I was like how am I going to get over this fear? I just, I don't like having fears. I don't like having, knowing there's something that can control me that, to that extent. So I go to a pet store. I buy a tarantula. And uh, I watch it drink water. And then, like, a few days later, like, I, it let me hold it. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. This is lit. I completely misunderstood them. And I just got obsessed with them. I just wanted a big collection. I wanted to know about every single species and all of them, the colors, whatever, everything. This might be a stupid question, but how many times have you been bit? I've never been bit. Really? Yeah. Do you think that's because you, you're? they know that you know that you're... <laughs> 
What? I'm trying to. <laughs> they know that you know that we all know. <laughs> that, Wait, that, what? That, that I don't know. Cool. Like they, he, <laughs> like they, they, they have like a sense of who's cool or not. I we feel like they it. probably do, yeah. right? They can sense it. Can you come back and bring us spiders, and we just put it on the table Let's and see it. who it bites? Let's do it. I'm with <laughs> it. Um, honestly, you got to do something pretty, pretty dumb to get bit by a tarantula. You know what I mean? Like mess with it. Yeah, because they're gonna warn you before they even try to bite you, unless like you're like. I don't know, like, you can hold them, and then sometimes an instance will happen, but, like, that's, like, super rare. But I don't think, uh, yeah. I've never been bitten over 10 years of having them, so. Wow. Yeah. I'm kind of fascinated. I and know. then where did the Steve Irwin thing come from? Was that from the TV show? Oh, was that... yeah, TV show. I watched them as a kid, you know what I mean? Like, that was yeah. like, my first thing I wanted to do and be in my life was the black Steve Irwin. Like, that was, like, my thing. You so. kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a good little Just side video. Just don't go swimming with stingrays, all right? <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Rest in peace, Steve Irwin, man. That's crazy. His kid, his kids uh, run the the farm in Australia. Yeah, yeah. the sanctuary uh, up in um, it's uh, the Sunshine Coast. I've actually I've actually been there. It's it's how long's that been now? It's been man. I think I was in like middle school or elementary school when that happened. I don't know. It's been a while. You ever pick up any fight moves from watching them? You're like grappling. You're like, wait, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> watching the spiders fight? Well, yeah, like, you never know. Maybe they're like, whap, whap, you know, or something. Do that again? <laughs> <laughs> that was like the fake out. Which I'm, I, don't know. I mean, they have more legs to fake out. That's true. That would be a sick move if you ran and then jumped and then double punch, double kicked <laughs> at the same time. Sick. That'd be sick, but if I don't make contact, I'm gonna fall on my ass. I don't know. Right. It's true where they have to catch you. Yeah, maybe. Awkwardly. <laughs> Just use all your hands and legs in a, in a move. That's a move. That's a move, sure. <laughs> or I could use three and I stay yeah, one yeah, foot. Keep, yeah, keep yeah. Keep one. Oh. I'm gonna right. try that in my next fight. That's I'm sick. Gonna get You're like, oh, no. And then kind of like. <laughs> that's the tarantula. Around. Like, that's your signature move. There you go. All right. Your last fight was came to decision UFC 290 Dan Hooker. What 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 did you take away from that fight? Man, honestly, I don't know. It was a that fight was a lot. That fight was a uh, it was a war. I haven't been in a war like that in a long time, like years. Do you like that stuff? It's all right. It's all right. I like no, I like no cool, I like clean yeah. finishes more than anything. Right I like to go get in there and get in get out. You know, do my do my stuff, be done, but. I mean, the fans liked it. That's all I care about, you know. Fans enjoyed it. But that's kind of it, right? It's it's you, you, it is, is a couple things. It's There's entertainment value, there's showmanship, and then there's winning. And I guess you want to do all three. But still, if it's going to come to a decision and you're still entertaining and it's still fight of the night or whatever it type is, you've got to be able to take something away from that, right? Yeah, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather have it go down like that than, you know, any other way. Um there's value in it, you know. I mean, my stock didn't go down. No, you know. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just look at it like that. Like even, even like post fight, like I think about it. I'm like, man, like I took way less damage than him. So, you know what I mean? Like that's a victory in itself. You know what I mean? Like I know what I can do to a human being. Like, like I'm breaking orbital bones and breaking arms. I'm like, oh shoot! Like I, I am kind of, kind of scary. You know? Like all right, cool. <laughs> As he's smiling, saying I that. Know. I'm terrifying. <laughs> I'm super scary. <laughs> Is there a dark side? Do you have a dark side? Yeah, hell, hell yeah. I think How do you everybody switch? does. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking true. How do you switch that on? Like, when you're in the ring, you're not smiling like this, right? Nah, not at all. Not at all. I just listen to a lot of gangster rap. What kind of rap are you listening to? Um, ESTG, for the most part. That's, like, my, like, pre-fight uh, playlist, and I just get in the zone and get ready to go handle my business. Who do you want to? I, I guess at, at at some point, obviously, you know, you want the championship, you want the belt. Is there somebody that you would prefer to fight, or you're just fuck it, who, whoever it is at that time? I'll, I'll I'll stand up and take it. Whoever it is at that time, I don't I don't have no name attached to anything, anyone. Like I don't care. I'm gonna end up fighting everybody eventually, anyway. You know what I mean? Like that's that's how I look at it. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Um, what about this, uh, you know, uh, uh, this Jake Paul kind of saga boxing thing that's going on? Nate Diaz fought last week. Did you watch any of that? Nah, I didn't watch it. I was like, 
I had my homie tell me the the updates, and that was it. I was with my kids at the movies. Right. <laughs> Do you? What, is there an opinion you have about you know wh where a lot of these fi fighters are being able to retire and kind of go out in a way like that, or you, you, do you have an opinion on that? Get the money. That's it. You know, go ahead and handle business. Get that money. I I don't. You know, I'm not mad about it. You know what I mean? But. I wish we'd get some dubs in there, you know what I mean? Like, that's it. Kind of sucks, right? Yeah. So I can fill you in. Nate did a good job. He didn't not not do a good job. He finished it. It was exciting. He kept the crowd going, where some of these other ones, you know, the Tyron Woodley stuff wasn't pretty to watch that last one. People get knocked out like that. That sucks because it, it, it ruins a bit of a legacy they have. But they're also getting fucking paid. So... You know, kudos to that. How long can Jake keep doing this? I I, I don't know. But the crazy thing is, is like, uh, and I didn't know too much about this either. But he's really putting on like the only really big boxing th tournaments, and I noticed female boxing. I'd never watched female boxing before. Obviously, MMA UFC has you know they've done a really good job of that. I've never, and I'm I'm not saying it's you know the most exciting or whatever, but I'm saying it was. It's still cool to see, you know. So love him or hate him, it's it's definitely um it's it's an interesting path that they've laid out, and um you know it was it was interesting to see, um you know everyone loves uh, not maybe not everyone maybe not you but Nate Diaz is fucking cool in my mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Him and his brother, what they did for the sport, what they stand for is 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 is, is cool and. You know, the, you, you kind of need legends, icons like that or whatever, you know? Yeah, so definitely. was it a little, like, one-sided in a way? Well, Jake's a boxer. These guys aren't boxers. Oh, okay. You know, they're like... So Danny's two-time Olympic silver medalist snowboarder. So Dan, Danny comes from that side of the world. Um, so he, he's he's also not... He's not really watching that stuff. Not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ass kicked enough growing up. That I, it just brings back memories of school and stuff where I'm like, oh, that's, man, that's I got in so much trouble. Were you bullied? I was a little bit bullied. Were you bullied? That's why you're a bully now. See, that's what happens. Is he a bully? <laughs> I mean. A little bit. Apparently, I was a bully at X. You bullied her? Yeah, I bullied her. Yeah, at Danny. X Games. He was making fun of every outfit I ever wore. I thought your outfits were great. Thank you. You didn't bully me. You weren't bullied in high school. He was. I didn't go to high school. Zeke, I don't know. Because <laughs> you were kicked out You're for being so a bully. Lucky. <laughs> How was your high school days? Man, I hated high school. I hated high school so much. I mean, it was cool. Like, I had, like, you know, little cool times here and there. But for the most part, I was bullied, too. I hated really? Yeah, heck yeah. I think yeah. everyone's like, you know what's crazy is, like, I look back on, you know, times like that. And you look back and... You, I, I, I bullied and was bullied in both kind of ways at a younger age. Kids are so fucking mean. Yeah, it's For crazy. Even now is worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, now it's also really hard when you like move yeah. to a new school, and then it's like everyone's like, "Oh, I got to beat up the new kid," you know? Yeah. I feel like, yeah. You know, I always wonder with like you know being a, a professional fighter, like, do people like challenge you at the bar ever, or like want to fight you just to be like, yeah, nah. I it's took a the swing. opposite. It's opposite. You don't really? look they like love a you. fighter. It's like though. the bullies I, love you guys, that's right? The, yeah, that's the scariest part. I don't look like a fighter nah. at all. No. So the last time I did get into some crap, like it was at a club situation. So yeah, they didn't know I was a fighter. What happened? <laughs> they don't. They still <laughs> don't know. Until it was too late. <laughs> just some, some, some crazy drunk instance that, that happened yeah we don't have to go into it i don't drink i don't drink alcohol anymore oh really <laughs> yeah wow man i feel sorry for that guy <laughs> <laughs> or guys yeah it was, yeah more it was like multiple, guys definitely multiple but i think i broke my uh, i broke my hand actually i broke my hand and i think i broke somebody's face but oh my gosh yeah but i ended up getting jumped by some people so it was crazy it was cool it is. It happens. It it's live. But it's got to be pretty cool. Like, I I grew up watching all the cool, like, you know, martial arts and kung fu movies. And, like, one of my dreams is just, like, kicking a whole group of dudes' asses. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Like, the one-on-one -on -one thing, yeah, that's cool. Whatever. You're in a fight. But, I mean, I'm talking, like, some sick. So, what are you saying? Like, like you and Jalen is going to start hitting fucking the bars? Beat <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, like, he... 
he like gets him a little days and then I do Dan, the finishing one. Danny's got then. some like some scores to settle in Huntington Beach. He's like, come on, Jim. Oh, actually, on. yeah, I would go to Huntington Beach. I would train for that. <laughs> yeah. Train for that just to yeah. go fight in bars. Oh my God, there'd come be dudes two, with like star tattoos arms, flying out of legs. windows and shit. You're just doing the scorpion fighting moves the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I don't know. We can make it happen. All right, I got to come train with you then. Let's do it. And you got to teach me. I've never been snowboarding ever. Done. We can trade. Let's do it. Yeah, because there's actually a few guys up in Mammoth I'd like you to meet. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, Sean. Meet my friend Jalen. Wow. <laughs> you wanted to beat up Sean White? No, not Sean White. I was talking about the guy that sold us the guar suit and. Oh, yeah, you can beat up that guy. Yeah, yeah a, we got a few people for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. um, are you watching? What's coming up right now? Uh, John Jones, Stipe. That's going to be a rough fight. I'm, I love Stipe. He's the man, fucking people's champ, everything. That's going to be a tough fight, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like they stitched him up a little. John Jones is too damn good, man. That's the, that's just the hardest part. He's just too good. Brittany was just hanging out with him, and she said what? he's huge right now. Well, he's huge, but he's in the gym. We were, uh, I was I was telling him, I was out with uh, some friends, and we FaceTimed John. He was in the gym. Like, he's back on his tour days. He's ready. That's right. I'm actually painting the shirts for the Stipe John Jones for UFC. I'm painting the you UFC t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, That's sick. cool. I want one. Okay. Me too. Okay. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's your opinion on this fight? Me? Yeah. I mean... Like you said, I mean, John. It's John Jones. He's just he's such an incredible athlete, incredible entertainer, and I think he's in he's in a really good place. I mean, when I saw him, he came to my art show, and then when you know everyone came to your art show. Joe Rogan posted about your art show. I, I didn't get an invite. No, I will have <laughs> it was another exclusive. one. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, I'm I, I don't know if I, I'm team John Jones, even though I mean, yeah, I think it's gonna be great. I can't wait to see him. Where is that fight? It was in Vegas? Madison Square Garden. Oh, it's New York. The New York yeah. fight. Yeah. You guys think that um, Connor's going to fight Nate Diaz? Like, is that going to happen again? I would like to see that. I'd just like to see Connor get back in the ring at this point. He's playing it simple, for real. Like, he keeps teasing the world. I'm like, bro, just fight. Right, he's over there driving his Lamborghini boat, freaking buying just whatever. Making kids every freaking Making babies. <laughs> I mean, I'm really? like, this woman doesn't have a, she doesn't have an off clock. She's pregnant oh. again. Again? <laughs> yeah. Again. Oh, shit. Okay. No off clock. <laughs> no off clock. He's busy. He is busy. Two a days. <laughs> in the gym, out of the gym. Two a days? Two a days. Man, I, I guess if you're in his position too, it's like, dude, he's a plumber from Ireland that got rich as fuck and is like, dude, I'm living. Yeah. I'd have more kids if I had more money for sure. <laughs> if I was living like him, I'd have like seven kids right now for sure. He's working on it. Yeah. I'd be right behind him. <laughs> you got time. How old are your kids? Uh, my son's five and my daughter's four. Um, what are they into? Are they into spiders? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit of everything. When they watch you fight, do they get really, like, do they get nervous or how is it? Do you take them to the fight? Have they been to the fights? No. Nah, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I'll ever take them to any, like, my personal fights. It's a weird thing, right? I look at it sometimes when a fighter gets beat up and their yeah. kids are there. I'm like, oh. Yeah, see, I, for me, it's like, I feel like I'm going to go to war. I'm going to go to battle, so I don't want to have my kids there, you know, like, good or bad. If I feel like I'm going to win 110% or if I feel like I'm going to win, like, 90%, like, I don't want them there at all. So, you know, I just, they they watch with my sister at home, you know, and I just keep it like that. But I'll take them to, like, go watch somebody else fight, you know. How's, like, your mom and sister with you fighting? They they, they support it. They watch me, you know. I mean? Yeah. They, they help me. Like when I'm in a training camp, like if like I need somebody to watch my kids, like they're there for me. Like I got a good support system behind me. You need that. Yeah. Like if I didn't have it, I wouldn't have made it this far, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. That's like you you that's you need that backbone. Yeah. And to be able to lean on that backbone is like super important. He's a family man. Danny's trying to have kids soon. Yeah, come on, join the team. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Is, it looks like a lot of work, to be honest. Is it a lot of work? No. Nah, nah. Are you sure? Everybody made it seem so, like, so much harder than it actually was. You know what I mean? Like, I always wanted to be a dad since I was young. I, like, long story short, I always wanted to be a dad. I wanted, like, five kids. And people were like, oh, yeah, when you have kids, this and that. Uh, like, no. It's it's pretty chill. It's pretty Can I ask chill. a question? Is your dad around? No. 
He wasn't around. He, uh, him and my mom got divorced when I was like seven years old. He was like in and out of my life until like I was like a teen, and he just kind of like dipped out with his uh, with his new wife. I was like, all right, cool. You know, like, I seen him before. Like I think after my son was born, he he you know he went to like be in his life, and I was like, all right, cool. Like I'm okay with that. And then he never hit me up again. I was like, all right, whatever. Like, has he hit you up now since he's seen you on TV? No. Dang. Yeah. That's I mean, why. That's why you're yeah. a super dad. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's how I look at it. Like I don't have any any animosity, bad blood. Like I don't care. Like, you know, like I came to peace with the situation, and it just made me want to be a better dad. It's crazy, man. Like uh, the, 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 I, I, my dad's in my life now, but when I was younger, I didn't like. There was a period I didn't see my dad for like eight years or something. Oh dang. So crazy, and it's just like weird to think about that they're there, around, but they're not in your life. Or do they care? Do they not? And it fucking. It's a mind fuck, but it also like you know uh, sometimes you know you can take those negatives and create a positive or create a drive. I think everyone needs drive, so it's like you know sometimes uh, you look back on some of that heartache. But I think that's you know maybe where some of your aggression comes from too when you get in the ring. That's definitely true. And every negative I've ever had in my life, I turn into a positive. So I've I've always been that person. You're one of the happiest people I think we've ever sat at this table. <laughs> your smile was like radiating. I know. I wish you'd smile like that more, Dan. Well. I do too. I'm not, <laughs> I just don't have the best You're like smile. Right now. I like hide my teeth for some reason. I, I feel have like small. I have small teeth. I don't know what it is, but great smile. Thanks, dude. Great smile. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. When it comes out, <laughs> now you can't turn. Now, okay, now stop. Okay. <laughs> no, you let him smile. I keep it on. Mm. Brittany's got a pretty smile. Yeah. I mean, Agreed. thank you. Would you let your kids fight? Yeah, definitely. I'm not like pushing it on them, but if they make the choice themselves, then yeah. But they got to learn to fight regardless. They're they're gonna be in the gym and learning little techniques here and there. You know, we can't let them get bullied. So, no. Yeah. Nothing better than a little girl choking somebody out. Straight up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you they fight with each is. other all the time? <laughs> they do. Do you think you inspire them a little bit when they see dad on TV? Definitely. She's Definitely. all tap, tap, to the brother. <laughs> I know. I wonder if they're in school like, whatever, my dad will kick your dad's ass. 100%. <laughs> yeah. That's what kids do. Yeah. <laughs> my son is a terror. He's like, my dad's stronger than you. Any like any friend I go to, my dad's stronger than you. You want to arm wrestle my dad? Oh, I don't think you, you're probably, you look like you could be stronger than my dad. I'm like, bro, like, chill out. <laughs> really? He's Getting like, you into dad, fights. look at this guy. He's huge. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, it's John Jones. You're like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. Who are your idols? Like, I, I, you said Anderson Silver a little bit, like from the Spider thing. Was that the Spider thing, or was that because Anderson Silver was generally a, a, an idol and somebody to look up to? He's definitely somebody I looked up to for a long time. Um, honestly, mainly him. You know, he was like the number one on my list from when I started to even now. You know. Um, I got to train with John Jones. I always looked up to John Jones. I think he's the greatest of all time, you know, and that's pretty much it. The two people I really like, really looked up to. Um, you know, I always admire like the long lanky guys, you know, like Carlos Condit was dope to watch. Cowboy was dope to watch. I watched Israel before he even got in the UFC. I was telling everybody he's going to be a champion before he even like made it to being a champion in the UFC. Um, yeah, dude, just anybody with a long, lanky frame, like, I was just all for it. I was yeah. like, I was just trying to tailor my game around those dudes. Do you think that John Jones could be one of the best athletes of all time? Like, not just MMA, UFC, but, uh, like, of... Oh, yes. I never thought of that. But, yeah. I think uh, that yeah. should be in the conversation now. Yeah, I, I could see that for sure. My favorite John Jones story was his first, uh, when he won the title, and he had saved that woman who got mugged in the park. Did you, did you ever hear that? So it was the morning of his fight. I don't remember where it was. And he was meditating in a park and a woman got mugged. And he was like, <laughs> the guy mugged the wrong woman at the wrong time. He ran after this guy, got this woman's purse back, and fought and won the title that night. That was John Jones's first fight in the UFC. Well, first title fight. That's lit. Isn't that I didn't crazy? Know that. That's lit. I was there. It was pretty cool. That's good info, Britt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's it take to be a champion like to really go after it is it more like different style 
I can answer that question when I become a champion. Okay. Uh, then I, I'll, we'll come back. We'll do this podcast over again, and I'll, ex- I'll answer that question. But, you know, on the way to the top right now, it's it's been – Man, it's been it's been tough. It's been rough, you know. Like, I've been making little changes here and there, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. You know what I mean? That's a good question. I like that. But like I said, I won't really be able to fully answer that question until I do get that belt around my waist. So, we're gonna come back to that one. What okay. keeps you going? Like, what is this like? This hunger? Is it just for the belt? Is it for the success is it for yourself is it for your children what what drives you forward true honestly it's all of the above Mm -hmm. and like honestly like for the most part it's gonna sound crazy to say i don't know what else to do i don't know what else i would want to do with my life i don't know what else would wake me up in the morning and make me want to go run 10 freaking miles you know what i mean or or just grind as much as thinking about another man trying to beat me or take take food away from my kids you Mm -hmm. know What's your camp look like? Like, what what is, so you said 10 miles. What is, like, your diet? What's your camp? What's your training schedule? Man, diet. Ah, oh, I got to leave all the good foods and desserts. Um, I have, like, a cheat day on the weekend sometimes. But uh, What's your cheat day food? Anything that's sweet. <laughs> anything that's a burger. Anything that's a pizza. <laughs> anything full of carbs. Me too. Man. <laughs> I just got hungry again. <laughs> it looks like you probably don't have to cut much weight though when you fight. I think I appreciate that. I appreciate. I look slim. I look yeah. close. You to do. Yeah, you, you look good. See, everybody calls me a weight bully and all this crap. I'm like, bro, I'm not a weight bully. What's a weight bully? It's this new term that casual little kids call bigger fighters. Since I'm six three and one hundred fifty five pounds, like they're like, oh my gosh, you're a weight bully. But like, what are, what are they saying? What does that mean? Like, because you're you walk around at the weight you're fighting at. I don't want to go. I'm I'm definitely not 155 right now, but I guess because since I look bigger than most of the division, they they think I'm oh, like size. I see, I He's see. got like yeah. six seven inches on most of them, right? That's not a weight bully. That's a height bully. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're Thank just yeah. tall. That's just you're a bone that way. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Their problem, not yeah. yours. Yeah. It's I'm a, the it's weight a casual bully. Thing. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so the weight what? bully. <laughs> <laughs> So what? So you do two a days? Yeah, two a two days, days. Two a days, sometimes three. Mm-hmm. Uh, do my runs in between. Uh, wow. It just depends on my day. Depends mm-hmm. on, like Monday, Mondays or Fridays are like my, like usually like three, like three a days. Tuesday, Thursday, sometimes two, sometimes one. Just depends on my day, you know. Like, and I, I like to take rest days. I like to like break up and like listen to my body you know what i mean uh when i fought jimmy malarkey I, that was the most rested i ever had in a camp and that was the first time i went into a fight without without an injury mm-hmm. and i felt i felt so good and do you have like a way to turn it off in between your training like are you like video games just playing with your kids skateboard meditate like what is your so reset my reset is just being with animals being with nature going on a hike or being with my kids you know and that's like my normal everyday life and that's what i always like like to do that's why i just like don't get hell bent in fighting and being in the gym being in the camp you know because my first like until i got to the ufc i trained every day like i didn't take a break unless i was injured you know and when i got to the ufc and i i had my meniscus uh surgery that's what the first time i ever had a long layoff so it completely changed my whole mindset. It completely reset me, and I was just like, "Man, like taking time away is actually good because it it made it fortified it fortified my mind, you know." And I was like, "I really want to do this even more," and it it just helped a lot, you know. So I I like to get away and just be normal and just do my normal life, get out of the gym. And then when I come back, I'm hungry again, you know. Do you feel like you um, getting to the UFC like that was almost a burnout period because you were going so hard? Definitely, I I I would fight. I fought like four times a year sometimes. I was just like, f- just always trying to fight. Just always trying to just get there, get there, get there. Like, it just didn't matter. Like, I just wanted to get there, you know? And then, you know, when I get there, I'm like, okay, like, let's do the same thing. Let's keep ramping it up. And then, like, life was like, no, sit down, sit back. Injury, didn't fight for a year, and then didn't fight for 10 months. And I was like, yo, like, this is crazy. I never did that. Like, in the, like, Five years that it took for me to get there like I did not like sit down you know so now I got a lot more patience and now I like understand why I had to like sit back because like, it, may, it just made me better like every time I'll go fight again I'll, I'm always better and everybody sees it they see the progression in my training so that's what happened that's what it's for wow 
I had a question. I, like you talked about kind of fighting healthy in injury. I feel like because when we kind of see the fight cards, you look at these like, you know, two figures and they just look so strong and healthy. But I know from like snowboarding and competing, you know, there was a lot of times where you're not like you're nursing a small injury here and there. And, and that's pretty common, you think, for like everyone? Everybody. Definitely. Super common. You know, like like I said, those I've had I don't know how many fights and that was the first fight. I've had with no injury. Think about that. Like that felt good. It felt amazing. You know what I mean? Like nothing was nagging. Nothing was really bothering me. Nothing. I was like, oh, I gotta worry about this, or, or I can't do this technique because this is hurting. You know, it was just like smooth. I could do whatever I want, execute whatever I want. Yeah, because you, you're you're not you're not stressed on it. And then going in like that, your mindset is probably because you can do anything you want. What do you like more, striking or 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 getting them down on the ground and choking them? I like training grappling a lot more than I like training striking. I'm just better at striking, and I just utilize it a lot more. It's just my bread and butter, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm levels above everybody in the striking realm, but um, I love grappling. Like, people don't realize that. Like, wrestling started me. Like, that's what got me into MMA, and I just, I don't know. I just, everybody's just like, you're a better striker than everybody. Strike, strike, strike. And I, I think about it, like, even thinking about, like, back about my last fight, I'm like, I should have grappled more. Like, I always think about that. Like, why don't I shoot a takedown here and there? You know what I mean? Like, I like I got the offense, you know? Like, I don't know. But, but yeah. does that kind of depend on your opponent, too? Yeah, it, yeah, it, it does. But also, like, me looking at, I guess this is something I could take away from the Dan fight. Like, finding more ways to win instead of just being an entertainer. Like, I feel like if I would have, you know, got a, a takedown in each round, I would have won, the, like, solidified those rounds. You know what I mean? Like, little things like that, like, to become a better competitor to figure out how to win. What's your opinion on, you know, like, it, 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 again, this is more so going back into the showman side of it, but, like, the way that people, the way that the buildup is now, and I think that it changed a lot, but I think UFC or MMA, especially from the Conor McGregor stuff, what's your opinion on this, like, w w what it's turned into? It's, it's, it's like a show before the show. I mean... Are you a shit talker? He loves no. it. He's good at it, I feel like. <laughs> no, no, I feel no, like no, he's no. not. No, I'm I'm so calm and cordial. I want to be, we could be friends before the fight. I don't care. You know, we're going to go fight. You know, I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to try to knock you out. So I don't, I'm entertained by it. Like, I like watching people talk shit. I like hearing people, like, give their spills on everybody and, like, the bad blood, whatever. But for me, I don't, I don't, like, I don't do it. It's not my thing. It's not me, you know. Like, I tried it once and I was like, eh, it was just cringe. I was like, eh, it's not me. You're like, hey, you want to eat my tarantula? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so good at it. I'd be like the best shit talker, and then I'd just get knocked out. I got a flex way. for you. No, I know what you need to do. You just need to show up with your spiders. Uh, I did that at a weigh-in before. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yep. Just to add a little extra weight. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, who's, you're a weight who's bully. weight bullying now? <laughs> yeah. You're like, that only weighs like one ounce. But it's a big-ass tarantula. <laughs> you did show up at a weigh in with it? Yeah. How 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 was it in the box? Was it um no, nah, I, I just held it in my hand. That's sick. I stepped on the scale and then I just opened my hand. It was right Please do me. it again. They won't let me. Why? They're, like you have to get everything pre approved before like all this crap. Just now. do it and then like I'll be on stage and just hand it to me for a second and yeah. then just, like then I'll give it back and then Let's do that. You know what I mean? I'm down. Okay. Let's get it. Wait, they told you you're not allowed to bring spiders. <laughs> yep. You know, they, I didn't bring it. She did. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Exactly. See, I'm. I'm not gonna. It's, yeah. You're I, not, I, I'd rather ask for forgiveness I, than permission. Exactly. I would what I love. Said when I, I will hold it. that. Yeah. I would love nothing more than at a press conference when everybody's sitting in a row. If you just unleashed your spiders just and they're just, I would love to see those know. guys just. Ah! It's going up Dana's arm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, there it is. Yeah. You know, just acts completely like blase. Like, where did it go? <laughs> oh my god, that would go. I'd viral. be so uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm already uncomfortable with the conversation. <laughs> See, imagine if I really brought one and set it down right here. I would then. love it. I love it. I, I don't would have jump. A fear of spiders. Snakes I'm Australian, so I'm fear. used to it. You don't like snakes? I, yeah, I, I, I'm snakes. A I, got I like spy. You have snakes. I too? got snakes too. How many snakes do you have? I got one snake. Big snake? California king snake. Yeah, it's probably about like. Whoa, that that's Dang. a big snake. What do you feed him? Mice. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, what did you feed the spiders? Cockroaches? Yeah. Crickets. Crickets? Lizards. Snakes? Do they eat mice? Oh, no, snakes. Snakes, snakes do. They do? They're big enough, yeah. Dang. 
Yeah. Yeah, I can't do snakes. I had pet snakes, so I was down with snakes. I bring a tarantula and then a snake. No, 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 no. Didn't Henry? Didn't didn't Henry bring snakes once? Or they fake? I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, they were fake. I think they were fake. They were fake, right? You did that. Yeah. That guy annoys me. He knows a lot of people. <laughs> just gets he just gets under your skin for some reason. Hey, that's his uh, that's his spiel. You yeah, know? That's his yeah. King of cringe. Is he gonna keep fighting? You think? I have no idea. He just came back, to annoy you. He <laughs> came back and got yeah. beat, and I think I don't think he th- thought he was gonna get beat, but he got beat. I mean, he was they... trying to fight. He was trying to fight um, O'Malley. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. O'Malley's the, about the, to fight in Boston. Yeah, so. but. He, Henry never got that fight. I wonder how that one would have gone. Didn't he get surgery or something? After the last fight? I think so, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, he shouldn't have retired, to be honest. He should have just stayed out, and then he would have been Poor fine. Henry. Yeah. You have to feel bad for him now. But you need somebody. To, you need bad people. Yeah, like, it's true. like fucking, you need to, you know, it's. Can't like them all. But that's even like this power slap thing. It's hard because you don't know these people. You know what I mean? Whereas. UFC, or at least you know who they are, so there's a good person or a bad person, you don't like that person, or there's... But the power slap, not yet, there's only a few personalities, but it's hard to root for somebody when you're like, well, who is he? Yeah. The next thing you know, he's sleeping on the ground, like... <laughs> What's it sound like in the crowd, though, after each slap? Is it like, oh! It's pretty entertaining. Really? Yeah, and I'm not just saying that because we sponsor it. It's actually entertaining. It looks like, entertaining. It, you I, can't tell if they're acting, man. Sometimes they hit the ground and they're like out. It's like lights out. No, they're, it's, it's very real. They're not acting. That's like, crazy. I feel like it's almost, I'd almost rather be punched with a mitt and like something on as opposed to being like open handed to the face. And then like if you catch it in the ear. I feel like a slap is just so disrespectful. Like, so yeah. disrespectful. <laughs> it's like you did something bad. It's like your mom came in just like, Oh. Watching a fully grown man slap a fully Their grown man. hands behind your back. And so just, they have to and hold they, the you thing? You just have to take it. And they hold the thing? Yeah. So what, if they let go, do they like lose points? Lose points? Yeah. That's crazy. But the thing is, my favorite knockout is always this one. This this nerve right here. Because you could when a fighter does it, you could sometimes, I mean, it's always hard. But if you get it right, it'll just go out. So that slap is right where that nerve is. So that's why they keep, I mean, that's my favorite knockout. What's your favorite knockout? Um, shoot. I don't know. This one's a good one. I just wish Dan would have went to sleep when I head kicked him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like, you don't want to. You don't want to see the guy still looking at you after you kick him in the head. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And no, no human being should be able to take a full blunt head kick. Like, nope. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It's kind of gnarly. Where'd you land it? Uh, like right here, side of his head. Oh man, broke his orbital bone, Oof. but. Oh, shoot, he's not his, yeah, not him. That's crazy, right? Crazy. That's, it, he's, that's the toughest dude I ever fought, for sure. How hard is it to land a, a head kick, or just even like a really solid kick? It's really hard, actually. It's yeah. really hard to land a solid flush head kick. So when I when I threw it, I was like, oh, it's perfect. Like I kind of faked it low, and I came up high, and I and I seen him bite, it and I was like, oh yes, boom. And like when he grabbed me, I was like, I was like oh, he's still in here. Like he's not he's not asleep. <laughs> Yeah. Right. You're no, like, seriously, Shit. you just stop. You're like, keep working. <laughs> and then Justin Gaethje goes and throws a head kick, and Dustin Poirier blocks it and still puts him to sleep. Crazy, like, like, right? How, like, what sense does this make? Like, what's going on in the universe right now? But that's the craziest thing about your job and what you do. It, it it's, it's one can work, one can. It's not, it's all, it's not luck. But you guys are in there doing it. But it's like, but a head kick knockout is very, very impressive. Definitely. That's a showstopper. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Because that's entertaining. Head kicks are crazy. I love head kicks. That's probably my favorite head kicks. Nah. I Can like you the- head kick Danny? Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, nah, I'm too short, man. He's missing <laughs> like right over my hair. What about uppercuts, though? I want to see some uppercut finishes. I feel like that's. Uppercuts are nice, too. I don't throw enough uppercuts. You could put them to the moon. Why not? <laughs> it's because people, because you're not close to people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm too long. Long for that. You have to do that other one. The overhand. Overhand. Overhand, yeah. That'd work. I like body shots. Those are my favorites. Just like drain the energy right out of them? Yeah, just hit somebody in the solar plexus or the liver. The liver, right? The liver is where people just drop. Mm-hmm. Oh, liver. If you hit that in the sweet spot, they're done. Oh, yeah. I think I think I hit Dan really good in the liver the first round. I think he uh, he felt that one. 
You're like, I kept hitting him in the body. I was like, dude, like, how are you still like coming forward, bro? I was like, man, like, this, he was a zombie that night. I kept telling everybody, like, in interviews, I was like, it depends on which Dan shows up. You know, if he shows up, it's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be crazy, and it was. He showed up. It's wild. I want to fight again. Dang. Do you want to fight him again? I want to fight again in general. Right. Yeah, I'd, I'd fight him again. I fight. Yeah. I love that term you just said, though. He's a zombie. Like yeah. You just giving him everything you got, and they're just like, yeah. fully, just you can't <laughs> stop him. Yeah. You're like, yo, let's check his pulse next round. Like, I don't even think <laughs> this guy's here. Exactly. He's not even here. Yeah, like he's a cyborg. Definitely. What's hotter, a head kick or a 360 flip on a skateboard? To land? Yeah. 360 flip, for sure. Can you really land 360 flips? Mm-hmm. Dang. It, I learned them switch first, actually. I couldn't land a regular oh. one for so long. It was so weird. Like, everybody was like, how did you? That's like learning to, to run before you learn to walk. I was like, I don't know. I just felt better switch. Sounds dangerous, but what if you had to come out on, on the skateboard? I'd With a tarantula. Just like Ollie, like an eight stair. I'd do it. Kick it out, throw the board <laughs> to the crowd. I'd be we're, down. We're really, uh, we're really coming up with some ideas here today, you guys. <laughs> I would be such the a best great showman in I would UFC be history. Such a great horrible manager. Yeah, I don't know who manages you, but I like, think oh, you've he got just rolled his managers. ankle. It's okay. It's okay. Let's start the round. Like, oh. you have a snake just like circling the cage. Dude, oh that'd gosh. be sick. You know what I mean? Like, just incorporate just everything just I'm everything. into, like yeah. animals, skateboarding, whatever. Like, you know, that'd be. Li- Watch when I get the belt. They're not gonna deny me for half of this shit. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm oh, gonna yeah. make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Once you get there, you can do whatever you want. It's yeah. proven. It it's proven. <laughs> <laughs> you get that belt, I'll get a tarantula tattoo. Word, word. Oh dang. Yep. Sick. Deal. I want to get a tattoo. Yeah. You just got a tattoo. I didn't. Oh, you didn't get one at X-Men? Nah. I don't so, have any tattoos. No tattoos? No. You don't seem like a tattoo guy. Yeah. I mean, I used to want one, but I just... What, what you did get? you want? Yeah. Um, it was uh, Hiei's Dragon of the Darkness Flame from this uh, anime called Yu Yu Hakusho. It's, uh, it, like, it just wraps around your arm. It's a dragon. It's cool. Do you read a lot? Mm, not, as, not as much as I should. Mm. A little bit here and there. You seem like you read a little bit. I appreciate that. You know, he knows big <laughs> words. <laughs> Well spoken. <laughs> well spoken. Well, well spoken and fucking gnarly. So we've got you all fired back up to fight. Probably not going to fight this year, though, huh? I wasn't planning on it, but I think an opportunity is arising, so we shall see. Cool. All right, we can't really go much more into that. But also, wow, super impressive that you can skate like that. Thank you. Thank we got to uh, we got to connect him with Nigel. But know, maybe that'd be lit. Maybe after you fight, Nice is the fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going down any rails, no stairs, maybe a ledge. That's about it. <laughs> so I was just with somebody. I was with Thomas, our skate team manager from Europe. And he's like, dude, like they just had Niger in Europe. And he's like, man, it's he, they had him on a team trip. And he's like, dude, like all the other skaters get bummed when he comes to skate because he's so gnarly. <laughs> He's good, man. He does. He makes it look easy. I got beef with him because he was so much better at skating when he was like 11 years old. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I was real. like before we, inter- before we interviewed him, he did like one of our first ones. Danny did this some research. And Danny was like, he took up my gnarliest tricks by the time he was 11. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. And it then is. Danny's had beef with him ever since. No, I don't have beef, but... Obviously, some jealousy. He makes it look so easy. He yeah. does. He does. He's and like he, a nonchalant kind of guy. He's just like, yeah. and he does hammers. Like, I mean, he just like really lays some insane parts down. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, dude, we really appreciate you here at Monster Energy. Before we leave, we do this like lightning round that uh, we kind of just fire some questions off. I didn't mean to do that. Um, Jalen Turner, guys, we really appreciate you. Sick man, I'm, I, 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 I've got to go look at. I'm gonna when we get done, I'm gonna look at some of that skate footage, and I think let's drop some of those skate videos that will then play when uh, this this at the end here, which we're gonna drop in. Um, anything else? Any last like you're a family man, you're a good man, you're a smiling man. You don't look dangerous, but you are a scary motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the nail on the head with all that. All right, first lightning round question. Do you name all of your tarantulas? No. Do you name any? Yeah. Oh, actually, because I want to jump What's in on the there. Do you not name them because they might get eaten? <laughs> like you like, don't name mm. the baby? Yeah, you're like, oh, Jeffrey got eaten again. <laughs> or you name them all the same name. 
after having so many for so long, you just yeah like, coming up with two hundred names. That's a lot, and not even just that. Like you kind of like it depends on how connected you get with it. You know what I mean? Uh, walkout song you always wanted to use. Um. Ah, uh, shoot! I don't know. I got a bunch. Yeah, I got a bunch. You don't? Yeah, you can't say it. Cause what if someone takes it? Uh, greatest, <laughs> greatest MMA fighter. That was a bad question. Sorry, I asked that. I was like, what's what's your next finishing move gonna be? No. Uh, greatest MMA fighter of all time. John Jones. Uh, best place you've traveled for MMA. Dubai. Um, if you could give yourself younger self some advice. Um, shoot, I don't know. Just be patient. Be more patient. Be patient. Yeah. Um, stay away from the girls. Stay away from the girls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drama. Girls are drama. Such drama. Such yeah. drama. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> well, let's end it there for the lightning round. All right, dude. Well, we really appreciate you and uh, really can't wait for your next fight. But thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. When I get that belt, we're coming back. Round dude, two. Tattoo tarantula tattoos, it. and then we'll go live with the belt. Yep. Yeah. Thank you.